What's up guys, Be Quick Jiu Jitsu here. I'm here with Brian Cuts. We are going to show some fundamental drills on guillotine escapes and side control escapes. So, first of all, let me explain the do's and don'ts of the guillotine. Like, if we're over here, Brian does not want to be on this same side of the choke. It gets real bad for him on this side. Even if I had half guard, this is pretty bad spot for him to be in. His head and his body are on the same side. If he got to full guard, it gets a little bit better for him, but he can definitely still get choked. If he's in the other side, half guard, it starts to get a lot better for him. And then if he's all the way in side control, this is really good for him. The guillotine's gone, and now he can actually submit me with a Von Flew choke. So long story short, we want our body to hop onto the other side of, uh, of the choke. So if your head's on one side, our feet are jumping to the other. Head's on one side, feet are jumping to the other. One more thing I'm going to explain on the side control, and then we'll put it all together, okay? So I've got some videos on the side control sit-up escape, and sometimes it can be at the collar, the collar tie, and I'm sitting up trying to escape and stuff like that. And it's been taught a lot even through my network of Be Quick Jiu Jitsu, but I want to get you guys more on this cross face right now, on this cross face block, because we never want our head grabbed, right? And also I'm doing the exact same movement. I'm using this tension of him trying to grab my head to cause that elbow frame that I always like to do. I'm always trying to cause his elbow frame. So it's the same thing as here, but he's a little bit farther away. You notice Brian's long arms are now touching me and grabbing me, right? So this will also control his arm, but also cause a little bit more distance to get in front of him. I'm starting to get butterfly guard back. So now you can watch the drill. Me and Brian will go through it nice and easy. This is a warm up drill. Neck's not getting cranked on. We're totally cold, right? So I pocket his head and he's there. Warm. I'm like, ah! Get his head, and he's there more. Ah, I start getting up, block the cross, but pocket his head, and he's there more. Right here, when he comes out to grab my head, go back around with your hands. Right, connect your hands like, yeah, like so. Right when he's here, go to grab my head, right? That's where I grab. And now I sit, around, push, try and get out. Off the head, he's here. Make sense? So we're gonna do that two minutes at a time. It's a lot of work. It's a great warm-up drill.